So uh, I'm Fengxia or FX, you can call me. Um, so I am uh, originally from Singapore, but I'm currently based in Hamburg, Germany. So I am the co-founder and also the CPO of a young startup called 21 Done. And we build um, yeah, a personal growth app to help people to change their lives or to improve their lives uh, with, through the creation of new habits. So um, I was, I think that also kind of has got to do with like the situation that I was in. So I think there was a lot of um, questions that I had in my head that it, it was a little bit overwhelming. Like I had so many transitions happening, a lot of changes, and I was trying to figure out like, okay, I mean, I mean it was more like I don't know what to do and how to begin. So then um, I, yeah, I thought that, okay, maybe kind of having this um, PRI test would allow me to evaluate different aspects of my life and to also help me see like, okay, how I can which area I can work on to better support like um, my resilience in general, because that's super important in um, how you bounce back, right, from adversities and transitions and everything like that. So um, for me, I think the PRI was rather interesting because I think there are these two segments, right? So the first is basically you do this questionnaire and then the second is the, yeah, where we come together and then you kind of uh, go through it with me based on my interpretation and intuition of how things are. So I think for me, um, the first part where I went through all the questions, of course, it was a lot more, uh, I would say, uh, quantitative and also qualitative. So where I answer specific questions that would imply like, um, where I was standing in different areas of, of the, the steering wheel. Um, and I think then the second part was basically going through with you and then talking about it and my perception of where I <laughs> stand in these different areas. So I what I found was really cool was actually the gap between uh, what my results and my perception of what my results would, uh, or my perceptions of where I uh, stand in those areas. So I think the gaps really got me thinking like, Okay, yeah, I say, uh, yeah, it feels that I'm, I, I am a certain way, right? So, for example, maybe uh, I am pretty an analytical, or I can do problem solving, um, well, able to dig into stuff. But uh, in actual fact, I think when the results came back, I, I was doing poorer than I, uh, poorer <laughs> than I expected to be doing, and I think that get there then kind of made me uh, aware of this particular aspect and also I could then think about okay actually why is it why is there this gap right then I think I, I dug a little deeper into um, yeah the other aspects of my life and really thought about it then realized oh, okay actually it makes sense um, that I, I have been rather overwhelmed for example and uh, rather kind of going through things as they are and trying to complete them rather than really giving it time and processing it um, and then I think the results also was really helpful because I think the whole analogy was really fun and also helpful as well. Um, I, it's okay, I can share this. So personally, for me, the health aspect, which is the vessel of the boat, um, was something that has holes in them. So I think for me, it it just <laughs> made me realize like, oh, shit, health is really um, an important key aspect, basically the fundamental aspect of, of your life and also your resilience. If you're not healthy, then you can't really do anything. So I think while I am, you know, still fit, can still stand, but it really made me think about like, okay, uh, am I doing enough for my health? And for the fact that those questions that I answered gave me that kind of results and also even my, which actually matched my perception of where my health was or is, um, I think that, yeah, give me that urge to do something about it because if I imagine like myself to be on like to be sailing and I have holes in my vessels then I definitely want to fix it or otherwise this boat is going down soon so yeah and I have actually been doing that so taking more walks and um, trying to take more care of my health and be more mindful in that aspect. I, I think the PRI is actually a good tool actually for, for anyone, <laughs> to be honest, um, to start with. Um, but I think especially for um, firstly individuals who kind of have a hard time figuring out like, you know, where, where they can start uh, with for their personal growth. Because I think a lot, um, a lot of times it has got to, a lot to do with 
you being able to first get a clear picture of how you're doing um, in various aspects of your life before then you can say, okay, yeah, this part it needs a bit more attention. I know where I can begin. So for me, at least that was helpful. And then on the other hand, uh, obviously also for teams um, who would like to um, kind of improve their culture. So in the sense that, you know, uh, getting the team to come together to do the PRI so that the team also gets an awareness. I mean, everyone then knows how each uh, how one another operates and how also probably the company can better cater to certain aspects. So for example, if um, yeah, if one of the employees uh, have like this really low uh, analytical uh, area, then it could also be um, an idea for the company to kind of think about, okay, can we kind of restructure things a little bit to provide more time and space for our employees to be able to go deeper so that, you know, it's not like, okay, I'm just going to brush this and be okay, be done with this project, for example, but, you know, okay, to give them that time and the space to sit down to think about and to be creative, right, which then obviously helps to foster that kind of uh, creativity and um, flexibility in the company. I think I gained a lot of clarity clarity from the debriefing uh, with you, so Anya. And um, I think the whole process also of going through that, um, yeah, through that wheel was rather, I think you explained really well and also helped me to kind of uh, identify like, I, I think because there are different an analogies that you could use, right? So I think the the explanation part was really clear so that I could, I was very sure like, okay, which one of it was like really the situation that I was in. And I think at the end of the day, um, the results of the steering wheel was presented very um, concretely. So I could definitely see where exactly I need to work on. And I think you also instead of kind of like, okay, giving me um, a suggestion, like, okay, you need to work on this and that. Um, rather, you kind of give me that space to really think about like, okay, is this aspect so health? Like, why, like, what do you think you, you can do then to help your, your uh, ship sail, you know, more smoothly, which I think was very important because um, I think that, yeah, that, um space that you gave where I could think about all these different aspects with the analogy kind of helped me to find the answer in myself right and also to to figure out really like it's not about what you think I can do but what I think I can do to um, improve the different aspects so yeah and the whole process was very fun also definitely with Anya so I, I enjoyed it and I'm glad that I've also taken away some useful insights <laughs>